How's it going, everyone? And welcome to another Vapes and Games extravaganza where we are testing out the new free-to-play game from Ubisoft known as X Defiant. Is it true what they say that it can take on the king of non-sim-like sort of arcade shooters, Call of Duty, or is it just trash? Today we investigate and find out. I am playing it for the first time. I've installed it on PC and PS5, and if it is good, I will be reviewing on both and checking it out. This is the first time I've played, so it's sort of like not a review, it's just an introduction and a checkout type of thing. So here we go. So we've got unranked, rank trial run and practice zone, warm up and adjust settings. Well, this sounds like my cup of tea. Let's go. We should have a quick look around here and make sure that we're all set up with our sensitivity and whatnot. So just whilst we're waiting for this to load, we do have a community Discord server now that I've just set up and is up and running. We are starting to fill it up now. If you are interested in that or any of my socials, please check the description below the video. So we've got Cleaners, Phantoms, Libertad, Echelon and DeadSec. So obviously DeadSec is like from Watch Dogs. Echelon looks like they're from... Uh, Blinter Cell, I nearly said Siphon Filter for some reason. Cleaners, I think, are from Rainbow Six Extraction. Phantoms are from Rainbow Six. And these may be from Far Cry. Oh, yeah, it does say in the bottom corner, Far Cry 6. We'll try this guy. He looks pretty cool. And see what he's all about. Ah, so we had to pick our, pick our sort of accessory. Or I don't know what they are. We're just going to check this out and see how smooth it is, what the movement's like. The movement is very um, kind of like you're skating. Like, it's a little bit weird, actually. It feels kind of like a bit more skatey than Black Ops 3. I like the fact that the recall pattern is not just a straight line though, so you've got to do a little bit of gun control. But I do feel like we are about ready. Oh my god, we <laughs> so have an ability. So this is like my ultimate. That's pretty cool. So we'll end ultra, that's our ultra. He does. Oh my god. So every character here, Seems like they've got a range of abilities, a bit like a hero shooter. It's quite interesting, actually. Melee attack's pretty unique. Can you melee whilst aim down sights? No. Can you reload whilst aim down sights? Yeah. And it'll go back in. Superb. Right. Let's get into a match and see what this game's all about. So we are going to go on the unranked playlist. We've got welcome playlist, escort, zone control, domination, occupy, and hotshot. Hotshot collect bounties. I'm presuming that that's going to be the most popular. Uh, loads of players defined with other players under level 25. Skill based matchmaking is on for the introductory playlist. Uh, hotshot seems like the more popular one. It's kind of like kill confirmed from Call of Duty. We will try the welcome playlist. Oh, we're straight in, I think. So. This video is out a lot later than planned just due to simply the fact that I could not get in a lobby at all. Like, for the first week it was out, or however many days. Uh, I've been trying for about four days. It's Four or five days, it's probably just under a week. Uh, I've not been able to get in. So, like you can see, we've got somebody here, level 15, 18, 11, 9. It's a pretty standard of... Uh, We've got loadouts we can config. I do believe the attachments and whatnot are all based on how much XP you've got. A little bit like Call of Duty, but obviously you've got the factions that give this that nice bit of a twist and flavour. But I think games live or die on map design and gunplay. That's just me, but we'll see how it goes. I'm not a big fan of Modern Warfare 3. I did like it when it first came out, but I thought Modern Warfare 1 was great. 2 was okay. 3 is just dreadful. Uh, Warzone is an absolute joke full of cheaters so if they do get the anti-cheat right for this game if they can keep the cheaters out and the gun players good we should be okay Roger. we'll try this girl with a digital ghillie suit bit of stealth here feeling that vibe i'm gonna go with the assault preset i am an ar player myself very popular character as you can see Three, control the capture two, zone let's go one. guys Secure the capture zone. come on team I'll let's go i'll follow you because i'm bad <laughs> let's go 
Oh, we got our first kill, guys. Boom. Oh, dear. I ran into fire. Silly, silly, silly. But it doesn't automatically respawn due to the fact you can change your class and your character if you so wish. Oh, my God. I need a medic. Now I got a momentarily wait for our health to regen here. I'm gonna slip round the back. Or somebody over here. Zone under assault. We're locking down. Gonna try and get them as they come from the spawn here, maybe. Capture zone is moving. Oh nice, got an assist. Oh shit! No! Hey, it's pretty fun actually. I will be very interested to see what the aim assist is like and stuff like that. I think before the end of the video, we may play a match on controller just to see how that feels. So this person here has got some sort of detection ability, which seems pretty dope. Deploying frag. The zone in danger. Oh dear. Damage assist, so we did get an assist there, but no kill. Sadly, we will run around the outside here and try and get a flank on these, 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 uh, these lovely people. One. Oh. Fluff the second Captain shot, moving. sadly. Sending new location to your Been a long now. time since I played a shooter properly on mouse Don't and keyboard. So I am a little We're bit rusty, I'm afraid. Engaging camo. The abilities do seem relatively balanced from what I'm seeing. But that is obviously a first impression. Set that with a grain of salt. Revealing enemies. Swapping bags. Cover me. Oh, headshot, baby. So there is slide. Capture zone contested. Under assault. Oh shit. Oh damn. So you do do a lot of extra damage. You can give them a thumbs up and whatnot as well, which is quite cool. Um it's pretty fun actually. Um Capture zone is moving. Oh good shot, mate. Obviously they've probably got attachments and stuff that much higher level, so their gun accuracy is probably a lot higher than mine, sadly. Active camo. The zone's in danger. Got him. Can I pick up someone else's gun? New armament acquired. We've got an M16 here. See what this is like. The slide's a bit funny. Like the the movement's okay. It's not. Not amazing, but uh, it's definitely clean. You can definitely see there being a, a, a lot of people liking this game, especially from the point of view that it is actually free to play. Oh my god, get beamed. Let's go. Oh my days, I've just missed his head by a pixel. What a shame. M16's very tasty. I'm not going to lie, I'm a big fan of this. Oh, we're locking down the zone. I'm terrible. I'm terrible. Let's go. I did get an assist on both of those kills. It's nice to see that they've got the assists going and whatnot. I could definitely see myself playing this rather than Call of Duty, especially for the simple fact that there are more casual players and this is free to play um it does feel fun good within five minutes of playing i could genuinely tell you i actually think this is better than call of duty especially the latest iteration uh, the gun plays a little bit different takes a little bit of getting used to uh, i'm sure things will iron out once attachments get unlocked and whatnot we're locking down the zone Got him. 
be just to see how well I've done here. Probably terrible, but it's my first ever game. Got him. Let's go. Oh shit. Grenade. What the? Damn. Was that a grenade? Or did someone just snipe me? I think it was a grenade, right? Allies on the zone. Do so you got like detection? So our ultimate is building up, so I'm presuming that the better you play, the more chance you've got of uh, getting the ultimate. Got him. Oh, grenade. Good job. Good job. Well played, my friend. Well played. For initial impression, first impressions, I'm, I'm very, very... Very dead. <laughs> Very impressed. Uh, I've no Don't idea about the maps and stuff, but it feels fluid. The hit reg seems on point. And it's free. I mean, what more do you want? I mean, what free to play shooters rival in something like this? Made by a AAA game studio. And let's be honest, the Assassin's Creed that's coming out is not going anywhere, is it? <laughs> so. Oh, double kill. Oh, terrible. Terrible. I should have had the two-piece there. My bad. Extended mag. Few attachments. Two and three pieces incoming. My, my words. Might, might do some montages. Like back in the 90s, eh? Let's go. Yeah, definitely. Rewards accuracy. If you're hitting the head. You're definitely going to do more damage, and you can certainly feel it. Uh, placement of your bullets does make a massive difference. They're coming through here. I haven't got a ping button assigned. Got him. I can't condone it, but I get it. We're locking down. Someone behind me. Got him. Too soon, Junior. Oh, nice. Hip shot. Hip fire. Yeah, this game's solid. I like this game. It's, it's actually really good. Um, feels... Takes a little bit of adjustment from playing COD, but once you get into it, the movement's pretty, pretty good. Like, you can see I'm getting back into the swing of it now. So coming back to me now. Uh, on the don't Cash dislike the zone video for, the, for me singing, please. Um, I do try. I'm having lessons currently. Now, that was a bad shot by me. That was very bad. That was terror. Oh, shit. What the fuck? I think I just got shot in the head by a sniper, maybe? Boom. Capture zone is moving. Watch your back, son. Watch your back. Roger that. Let's save. We're winning. Oh! Taking keep that capture zone. Oh, I'm getting sideswiped. Oh! AK-47. That must. Now, she must have attachments. Too little, too late. I can't compete with the bear's gun, really, but I'm trying. My damnedest for the video content. Do not claim to be a pro. We've got a sniper glint in the background here. Rogue Epsilon agent activated sonar. The We're fuck the is zone. that? Capture zone contested. The I see you. Oh my god, this ultimate. What is this? Come on, pop your fucking head out. Bastard. No! Oh. So, timing your ultimate is a thing. But I had no clue what it did, so... Forgive me. 
Oh my god. Victory, guys! First game, victory! Did I carry? Did I carry? Most most definitely not. I'm, I'm, I'm guessing. Player of the game. I'm as 22. Occupy score 28 20. Hey, not bad at all. Not bad at all. We'll take that. We'll definitely take that for our first hit the game. So, unlock your three rewards today by purchasing the Battle Pass. Obviously, free-to-play games do have Battle Passes. And sadly, a lot of pay-to-play games do these days. But, I do not mind Battle Passes in free-to-play games. I think that is fine in my eyes. We've got a reflex site. We are actually going into a game, sadly. And I've got a controller in my hand right now. <laughs> We're going to switch it over to controller. There is input base matchmaking so whether you're a pad player or you're a keyboard and mouse player fear not they have you covered so here we go we're going to be checking out what the aim assist is like and seeing what it feels like we will play uh the same character i think stick with the same because then i get a real feel for how good the aim assist is and whatnot so the slide on a controller in the movement. No, oh, how did I activate my camo though? What did I? The aim assist is quite strong Advanced actually. Package, um, it could be a little bit too strong. Maybe that is perhaps why there is an option to reduce it. Got him. Let's go. Oh. So yeah, it feels good on a controller, actually. One thing that I really hated about Modern Warfare 3 is the aim assist it felt really hit or miss. It was not the best, to be fair. Let's go, see if we can get a grenade in here. So we've got to push the unit. This is a little bit like, um, where's that AK gone? Though so the camp, rather than push it, they're just hanging off the edges trying to get kills. Bit scummy, really, but it's what it is. That type of game, I'm afraid. Let's go. We got our active camo here. Got him. We're gonna pick up the AK-47 here. See how this this compares to the M4. Oh my god. Worst shooting ever. I've got the sensitivity rather low, but I'm not very good on a controller. Do be fair. More of a test for the aim assist. I do think I prefer mouse and keyboard. It's more my uh, more my play style. So how do you? How do you actually jump on a controller? Oh, left bumper. Okay. Left bumper to jump. Bumper jumper. Oh, nice. Tasty damage. Oh, nice. Yeah, the aim assist is quite good, actually. I will I will say. It feels, feels nice. I don't know if I like the, uh, the AK, though. It feels a bit weird. Sound effects aren't, aren't the best. I need a medic. Let's go. Oh, nearly got him. Hey, I, I like this game. It's very, very good for a free to play. I think it's going to prove to be very popular. And the way Call of Duty are over monetizing everything. All this pre-release stuff. I think they've got a bit of a competition on their hands, personally. Especially when all these cheating streamers start getting banned permanently. And let's be honest, if you've not been living under a rock for the past 10 years, there has been an abundance of cheating. Warzone players across the board. And it has to stop. So if this has got a good anti-cheat, it'll just win purely on that. There's no doubt in my mind. Does it look as good? No. Does it play as good? I'd say, yeah, it's pretty decent. Oh, my God. 18 HP. I must have run out of bullets. Feels decent, though. Definitely. Definitely does. So it's definitely going to be getting a thumbs up from me. For a, for a sort of early access game so far from my initial play 
It's at least an eight out of ten in my eyes. The gunplay is pretty solid. I think the only thing that lets it down a little bit is the graphics, but the graphics are clean and you can make out the enemies, so I would let that slide and it's optimal. It runs really well. The only downside for me with this so far is no team deathmatch. Um, no ability to really select modes, but it is in early access and the sound effects of the guns are a bit... a, a bit meh. Um, but the gameplay is solid. Um, and I think that's what matters the most, Stop the to be honest with you. Backing you up. I think it's far more important to have solid gunplay and gameplay. I can always tweak the sound effects later, but uh, the sound design could use some work. It's great for sort of placing where people are, but like the AK, the AK just sounds like you're rattling a tin of coins. It's, <laughs> it's a bit awful. But then again, I'm sure I'd adjust to it. Um, the guns in Call of Duty at the moment are too loud, and placing where people are on the map is just dreadful. And I mean, we are going to be comparing this to COD. I mean, let's be honest, what else are we going to compare it to? It's nothing like Rainbow Six or anything like that, so... It's definitely being made for that Call of Duty community. I would say. Let's have a look here. Got him. That's one, that's two. Uh oh. Uh oh. Uh oh. Uh oh. Uh oh. Oh my god. That grenade kill. Help! I'm dying here! Careful, I'm pretty low on health here. Oh my god, my shooting's terrible. <laughs> it will be very interesting to see what the game's like after unlocking a few attachments. So, if this video does well, I will be doing a follow-up video. Well, obviously, where I've ranked up a little bit, got some more attachments, and give it, give it a second uh, sort of outing. So it's interesting, I think this character's got like a passive because the bullet seems to be burning people which is doing like damage all the time. It's pretty cool. I will have to read more into the characters for this in a full review, so... This is just uh, first impressions of the early access. But running into five people over and over is not going to get us very far, I don't think. So a lot of the maps are inspired by... Uh, Division, uh, Far Cry, stuff like that. They're all kind of... Whoa. They're all kind of inspired by Ubisoft games. Oh, my God. Where was... Oh, it must be somebody in stealth. I didn't even see them. What the hell? I suppose if they get a good shot on your head, you're going down pretty rapid. They may adjust the headshot damage over time. It could be a sniper. I'm not sure if the snipers are a one-shot. A one-shot kill. I hope to God they're not, because I really hate that. People quick scoping is the worst thing in shooting games. Especially on a controller, it requires little to no skill. Got two v one. Feels bad. Thought I had him there to be fair, but oh, nice headshot. We have just leveled up the M4 again. We will check out what sort of attachments are available. You only have to finish in. Oh, nice headshot. Oh, ACR, let's go. It's two. Ooh. Looks like we might have lost this one. 
nice that they've got oh crushing loss not really crushing is it 70 to 71 I mean, it's bloody close So like the graphics, they're okay, they're, they're a bit fun, they're a bit chintzy, they're a bit like Call of Duty of old. I'd say closer to Black Ops than current Call of Duty. If you're a bit of a graphics whore, this game might not be for you, but the great standout things about it is it is free to play. The gunplay is great, the hit reg feels solid. Um, I like the sort of hero shooter thing being mixed into it. But the sound design is a little bit lacking. Um, but I think long term... It will go from strength to strength. And uh, I can believe it being popular because the current cost of games, let's face it, guys, they ain't cheap. And you're rolling the dice every single time. Maybe you pay £100 for the early access to the new Call of Duty and it turns out to be terrible. You're now £100 out of pocket. What have you got to lose by playing this? Absolutely nothing. You load it up. Do you like it? Yep. Yeah, great. Play it. If you don't, fob it off. Get rid of it. And I can guarantee... You won't be spending £100 unless you're absolutely mental on cosmetics in a game like this. I mean, I know there are people that do, but you definitely do not need to. And this game, um, this video is not sponsored in any way by X Defiant. I've not been asked to play it. I'm completely doing this off my own bat. So I don't think I'm shilling for the game because I'm definitely not. We will just have a look here at the loadout and just see what sort of a level a level three does so we can get a recon barrel which looks like it gives us increased minimap visibility range minimap visibility duration ads speed increased and a little bit less move speed it does allow these trade-offs for the attachments uh, we've got the reflex scope but there's all different scopes you can unlock uh, different muzzles and whatnot it's not a massive variety at the moment, but I'm sure that they will add to that over time. Obviously, it is in early access and very new to the market. But for me, it's a solid thumbs up. I will be checking out the PS5 version in another video. But for me, it's definitely, definitely worth a download and giving it a spin. Especially if you're like me and you're completely fed up with what Activision Blizzard are doing with Call of Duty. Because for me, they're just destroying that game. And this is an alternative. Definite, definite viable alternative. So if you've enjoyed today's video, give it a thumbs up. If you dislike today's video, give it a thumbs down. Down in the comments and let me know what you think. And yeah, hit that subscribe button and ring the post notification bell. And as always, I'll see you guys in the next one.